morning, Trinity School, and welcome to a holiday edition of Trinity TV. We hope you're all having a great day so far. This show aims to educate, educate captivate, and, and keep you up to date with the hottest Trinity School news. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, is a holiday, holiday Trinity TV. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Yonte Fashener, a lustiger, a freilicher, Nito noch a Zener, alle Nacht in Dreidel spielen mir, so die Käselatjes essen mir, geschwinder sind Kinder, die Hanike liegt der Lachon. Lass mir alle singen, lass mir alle springen und lass mir alle tanzen in Korn. Lass mir alle singen und lass mir alle springen und lass mir alle tanzen in Korn. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, kam leid der Menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the hora. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Dreidels to play with, latkes to eat And while we are playing The candles are burning low One for each night They shed a sweet light To remind us of days long ago One for each night They shed a sweet light To remind us of days long ago First up in this special holiday broadcast is Word of the Week! Word of the Week! Hi, I'm Amelia. And I'm Cece. And this is Word of the Week! The Word of the Week is poinsettia. That means a small Mexican shrub with large, showy scarlet bracts surrounding the small yellow flower popular as a house plant at Christmas. Put that in your vocabulary. And then use it in a sentence. Like this one. Around Christmas, my family puts out lots of poinsettias. Thanks, Thanks. for tuning in. See you next time on Word of the Week. Okay, great. Our next segment brings you tips about treating our planet better. It's Enviro Tips. Enviro Tips! Hi, I'm Amelia. And I'm Ansley. And this is Enviro Tips! Today we will be talking about reusing wrapping paper. Reusing wrapping paper helps save trees and gives the world more oxygen and less pollution. A way we can fix this problem is recycling the wrapping paper instead of throwing it away, reusing the wrapping paper, or using bags instead of wrapping paper. Remember, a little here and a little there adds up to a lot. See you next time on Enviro Tips. Enviro Tips. We continue the show with our segment featuring quotes that have to do with this year's school theme, Believe. It's time for Quote Me. Quote Me. And I'm Wyatt. And this is Quote Me. In this segment, we'll share a quote about this year's school theme, Believe. Today's quote is, seeing is believing, but sometimes the most real things in the world are the ones we can't see. That means, this Christmas, don't think about getting, but think about giving. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. Quote Me. Quote Me. We now bring you Let's Go, brought to you by 5th Grade Science. Let's go! Get outside! Hi, I'm Parker. And I'm Cole. And it's time to get you outside. So get your lazy selves up and do some yoga. Ah, I'm a the wise test and a science test. They just, ah! Dude, just chill and relax. Let's go outside and do some yoga. 
Why should I even go outside? Like, why should I go outside? Because going outside, it just helps you relax and unwind and makes you stress-free of your Can you even do yoga chaos. outside? Yeah, you can. You can do yoga anywhere. You want to go outside? Yeah, sure. Let's go do it. Okay. Let's try it. Namaste! And, and remember, remember kids, the outdoors so is waiting. waiting. Let's go! Yeah! Thanks, guys! All right, Trinity, that's all for the first half of the show. Time for an anchor switch. It's been fun. Bye. On October 3rd, we did a fundraiser called Tuning for Type 1 to raise money for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. We had three bike mechanics cleaning and tuning bikes at Brookwood Hills Park. People made donations if they had their bike to work on. We also had a bake sale with lots of delicious treats. We made over $1,100 and all our proceeds were donated to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, which is the leading organization who is conducting research to help find a cure. November is National Diabetes Month. When you have diabetes, it means that you that you have too much sugar in your blood. Sugar comes from the foods we eat and is used by the body for energy to run, skip, play, and swim. Even healthy foods like apples and bananas have sugar in them. Together we can find a cure. Hey Trinity, we're going to be your anchors for the second half of the broadcast. I'm Cece. I'm Wyatt. And I'm Jacqueline. And now for something completely random. And now for something completely random. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Hello? My favorite color is green. Sparkles! My favorite color is bright neon white. Random! Next up, we bring you a segment written, filmed, and edited by a talented group of fourth grade filmmakers. It's World Updates. Welcome back to World Updates. I'm Smith. And I'm Marshall. Today we will be talking about companies and countries. First we will be talking about companies. The number one company in the world is Walmart. The second, third, fourth, and fifth biggest companies in the world are Sinopec, PetroChina, Royal Dutch Shell, and ExxonMobil. Part 2. For the next part we'll be talking about countries. The biggest country in the world is Russia. The second biggest country in the world is Canada. The third, fourth, and fifth biggest countries are the USA, China, and Brazil. If you, for more topics, turn your topics in to Coach Austin. That will be it for today. See you next time on World Updates. That was great. It's time to get up and get all fitnessy and stuff. You know what that means? 
fitness for fun. Everybody up, it's workout time. I'm Ansel. I'm Jacqueline. And we're your fitness instructors. Joining us for today's workout, Amelia, Nick, and Cece. Are you ready to work out? Yeah! yeah! Great, let's get started. We'll start off today's workout with elf handoffs. So get a partner and pass the presents. So here's how you do it. One, two, and we're going to do 10 of those. So let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! <laughs> yeah! Next up, we're going to do tiptoe in place. So pretend you're Santa Claus and don't wake up the children in bed for ten seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! And our final exercise of the day is sand claws going down the chimney. So here's how you do that. We're gonna do eight of those. One, two, two three, four. Once again, I'm Ansley. And I'm Jacqueline. And we're, we're your fitness instructors. We hope, hope you had a great workout. Yeah! yeah. Woo! And that's it. We hope you're feeling fit, focused, and super awesome. Next up, it's time to get Culture shocked. Culture shock. Oh, the the sun. Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa all celebrate with lights. Oh wow! Pretty. <laughs> hey, you know all these holidays are the same in other ways too. They're all the time to be with your family. Yeah, that's Elmo's family. <laughs> oh, and to give presents to people you love. They all share that happy holiday feeling. Boy, Elmo sure is surprised that holidays that are so different can be so much alike. Thank you, Elmo. As 2015 comes to a close, we are reminded of all the beautiful moments and challenges of our year. Whether you celebrate a holiday this time of year or not, a break from school is an opportunity to have fun, spend time with family, and get some rest. During these last few weeks, many of us have learned about holidays such as Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, and Diwali. As Elmo mentioned, these holidays are all connected by the light that shines in all of us. Kwanzaa gives us seven basic principles for living a happy life and working together as a community. They are... Umoja means unity. Kuchi Chagulia means self-determination. Ujima means collective work and responsibility. Ujama means cooperative economics. Nia means purpose. Kumba means creativity, and Imani means faith. In the culture shock team looks, looked up these principles, we realized something really cool. We live these principles at Trinity every day. How do we know? Well, we're on Twitter. And you know if it's on Twitter, it must be true.
That was great! Next up is our segment featuring Trinity students sharing about the books they've read. It's, it's time, time for Book Babble! everyone and welcome to Book Babble. My name is Peyton Brady and today I'm going to be talking about the book Stone Fox. Stone Fox is by John Reynolds Gardner and it's about a little boy who goes through many challenges. He has a hard time getting through it and my favorite part about this book is when he, his name is Willie and he sees his grandfather standing up in the window. I don't want to tell you too much, so I don't give the book away. Thank you! Hey guys, I'm Aggie, and I'm here to tell you about Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. This book's about Ben, whose mother dies. He's never met his father or never heard of his fa father. He's trying to get along with his aunt's family while searching for his father. It also tells the story of Rose in the pictures. Find out what happens to Rose and Ben by reading the book. My favorite part of the book is when Ben finds the bookmark. That's all I can tell you guys. Bye! See you next time on Book Babble. Book Babble! Thanks guys, that was very nice. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Eight maids of milk and seven swans are swimming, Six geese are laying five golden rings, Four calling birds, three French hens, Two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. We're at the Jingle Bell Run, but I do not know where we are. Who knows where we are? The Centennial Park. Park. We are at Centennial Olympic Park. Nine. Nine. The clock. clock. What? Early. 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 We got Game to wake time. Up. Yeah. I set my alarm till, till two six. So tell me what you've done so far to train for this event. Are you guys ready? Ran with my mom around my neighborhood. Okay, cool. What have you done to train? Uh, I have run um, mostly like two or three miles every um, Saturday. I basically like running a lot, so I run around the track a few times a day. Oh, and cool. I'm just going to run the whole way. You feel prepared? Yes. Because I've ran a mile before. Okay, cool. Well, this is three miles. How do you feel like that's going to be different? A challenge. Think you can do it? Yes. Cool. I'm excited to see how you guys do. Good luck out there, okay? I Ethan? got I got this in the bag. Very Christmas -y. Yeah. I feel like I should have brought my dog. What we're is gonna, your technique? We're gonna gonna run through it singing Christmas songs. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna what? Run, we're gonna run singing Christmas songs. Last year I got third place in my age group. And the year before that I got second place in my age group. Um, number one, my, this race is me here arthritis, so my mom has arthritis, number one. Hi! Number two, I want to get six pack. You can only get a four pack for kids. What? You can only get a four pack for kids. Kids can only get a four pack? Mm -hmm. You only get the extra two when you're an adult? Yeah. Okay. I want to get really fit. <laughs> to those people who are doing this, good luck.
our first you start jogging like so just keep some energy in your body next to last mile um you just start sprinting to the finish line and that's how you want to do it How do you feel? fellow True Nations, we're sad to say that this holiday broadcast of Trinity, Trinity TV has run its course and is almost over. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. And we, we sure have. have. And we'll be back very soon with another riveting TTV. In the meantime, I'm Cece. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Wyatt. Thanks for tuning in. On behalf of all of us here in the Trinity studio, have a great holiday, Trinity!